for those beautiful advices and we should take this advice to heart he came all the way from Florida just to deliver those few gems and we make dua Allah Ta'ala accepts the services he's rendering there to the non-Muslims and to his community may Allah Ta'ala accept him and carry him further Ameen next inshallah the program many of you awaited where the students after three or four or some even five years after long hardships, parents, students, teachers, everyone. Finally, they've come to the point, alhamdulillah, where they will be completing the hifz of the Quran. So inshallah, we will start to call up the students, the Hufad students. Inshallah, you can start coming out uh, on stage. Meer Ashraf Sadid, Taskeen Ahmad, Azma'i Tanveed, Abdul Rahim, Abdul Rahman Hafiz Ali, Abdul Muhaymin, Ibrahim Siddiq, Siddiqi, Rayan ibn Alam, Muhammad Abu Riyad, Muhammad Kamal, Abrar Alam, Muqsid Sabiq, Tawheed al Hassan, Abdul Naim Hussein, Mihtab al Hassan, Tawheed Mia, Abdullah Islam, Nazmuddin, and Murshid Khan. Alhamdulillah, this year we have a total of 18 graduates. May Allah Ta'ala accept them. Everyone say Ameen. Thank <laughs> you. 
We'll call them up again, inshallah, when they're getting their their uh, pagris, their turbans, and their certificates, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, along with the hib section, we have another section that we had opened a few years ago, and this is the qira'a section, where students recite the Quran word for word to a teacher who was qualified, and that teacher has the sanad from themselves to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The student, after two or three years of reciting the Quran to the teacher and perfecting his tajweed, perfecting every letter, he then receives the hafs sanad. In other words, the chain and link that takes him all the way to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So this year we have several graduates who have finished the hafs narration, those who have finished the warsh narration. Afterwards, those who have finished the sabra qiraat, all the different narrations. And afterwards, this year, alhamdulillah, we have a new section that opened up. Those who have finished the Ashara narration as well, they will all recite to you. And alhamdulillah, this year we've also initiated the Banat section, the female side also, the Qiraat is starting in that section as well. We have graduates from that section as well. First, just to mention, we have before the Qiraat, we have the Muqaddamatul Jazariya that is memorized and students are giving, given certificate and these certificates will be given afterwards. Just to call out the names of the students who have memorized, Qais Ahmad from the fourth year, Ibn Waaz from the fourth year, Adil Sadiq from the fourth year, Umairuddin Khan from the fourth year, Hamdan Islam from the fourth year, Shaykh Rafiq, Rafiq, Rafiq Muntaqim from the third year, and Yusuf Malik, also Mahdi Chaudhry from the third year, and Yusuf Malik from the first year. These students have, have memorized the entire Jazariya, which is a poem in Tajweed. Next, we would like to call upon those students who finish the Hafs narration. Please come up on stage, inshallah. Asif Alameen has completed the Hafs narration from the fifth year. And Hamdan Islam, also from the fourth year, has also completed his Hafs narration under Mona Abu Zayed Sab. <laughs>
جزاكم الله خير جزاكم الله خير next ان شاء الله two students face uh, احمد and حمدان اسلام they finished the watch narration this year under قاري رضوان قل هو الله احد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفؤا احد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل اعوذ برب الفلق من شد ما خلق ومن شد غاسق اذا وقب ومن شد النفاثات في العقد ومن شد حاسد اذا حسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل اعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس اله الناس من شد الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم ملك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاه ومما رزقناهم ينفقون والذين يؤمنون بما انزل اليك وما
Second being Juwaria bin the Yameen, this is the very daughter of our principal, Mona Yameen Sab. Third being Lubana Taslim, also one of the daughters of our teachers, Mona Saifu Islam Sab. And finally, Luban, Lubaba Sardar, one of, uh, she's one of the daughters of uh, Barakatullah Sab, our president. So they've also completed, may Allah Ta'ala accept all these students, inshallah. Next, Alhamdulillah, we're honored to have two guests from Ikna Relief. Brother Arshad Jamil and Brother Shahid Farooqi, we welcome you to come on stage, inshallah. They, mashallah, they're doing, as we know, Ikna Relief has done services throughout the world, all over America and throughout the world. They have many, many programs. And this time and last time also, they've uh, helped the madrasa as well. They're giving the first, second, and third prize students from the Dara, male and female section, a $300 scholarship, mashallah. And as well as 100 students, from the uh, Adim course uh, with school bags and school supplies. May Allah Ta'ala accept their donations and may Allah Ta'ala accept the different different services they're rendering all over the world and we will have a few words from them inshallah. My brothers, my dear young brothers, my teachers, our adults of this community, Ikna Relief, congratulate all of these students, the administration of Darul Uloom, the principal, the teachers, and the supporters and donors of Darul Uloom, they are doing a tremendous job in this country by providing a leadership through Masajid, by preparing students here who will understand how to recite Quran, but inshallah, they are also understand how to read and implement Quran. And they are not only understanding for themselves, but they are becoming teachers. They are becoming mentors for those who don't know. So throughout their khutbas, throughout their services, throughout their education, inshallah, they will be able to teach our young, our adults through Masajid, through the members of the Masajid, and inshallah, our community in North America will benefit out of their services, out of their knowledge. May Allah bless you all. May Allah bless and accept 
the struggle, the efforts, the mehnat from the teachers and their asataza and the principal and this madrasa idarul ulum. I will congratulate one of one more time to all the students and graduates who are graduating today. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika wa nashadu wa la ilaha anta nastaghfiruka natubu ilayk. Alhamdulillah, the program that we've all awaited where the students of the Adim course graduate. We know that these students have been studying here for many, many years. And I personally can tell you when they started, they had about 33 students. And now about eight of them are graduating, subhanAllah. So the same with the Hif students. Many students start and only a few graduate. Not everyone does Allah Ta'ala take to that far. So this is a very, very great endeavor. And we hope Allah Ta'ala accepts it from them and from their teachers. Which is why I believe that we should call the teachers first, inshallah. We call Mawlana Abdul Rahim Saab, one of the Shaykh al-Hadith of the Madrasa to come up, inshallah, on stage. And Mawlana Azizur Rahman Saab, they've tirelessly throughout the year have taught the, the kitabs. And we also had a teacher previously, two years ago, he passed away, Mawlana Abdul Mumin Saab, uh, Rahmatullah Alayhi. He also taught these students. He passed away two years ago. May Allah Ta'ala fill his grave with nur, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, we are blessed and honored time to time again when we have ulama of great rank in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that come and they bless our shores and today alhamdulillah we have such a great uh, blessing we are we are we have we are in such a great great uh, and, uh, honor to have such a great and blessed scholar amongst us and to benefit from him Mawlana Harun Abbas Umar Saab Damat Barakatuh he is a senior lecturer of hadith in Isipingo Beach Madrasa in South Africa and he's a student of one of the greatest ulama of the past, Muhaddith al-Asr Shaykh Mona Yusuf bin Nori Sahib Rahmatullah Alayhi. He is also a Khalifa of Mona Hakim Akhtar Sahib and he himself has been teaching Hadith for over 30 years in South Africa. Alhamdulillah, for many many years now, Mona has been coming and he has uh, been blessing us and gracing our shores. We've been honored to be in his presence and benefit from him. The students of the Dora Hadith have benef benefited tremendously from him. We make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Hazrat is sick. We make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah ta'ala increase him in strength. Allah ta'ala give him kamil and daim and ajil shifa inshallah. Everyone say ameen. We call, call for Hazrat to keep, please bless the stage inshallah. We call upon the daughter students to come up inshallah. We have Naheen bin Muhammad Shihabuddin from Jamaica, New York. Kamil bin Akram Sakhi from Flushing, New York. Hikmat bin Hurmat Samandaro from Jamaica, New York. Muhammad Zubair bin Jamal Hussein from Buffalo, New York. Hassan bin Aziz Rahman from Jamaica, New York. Kamil Ahmad bin Muhammad Abdul Rahim from Jamaica, New York. Qamarul Islam bin Tayyib Ali from Jamaica, New York. And Muhammad Mahfuz Rahman bin Faizul Rahman from Jamaica, New York.
بر من الاشعريين نستحمله فطالب الله لا يحملكم وما عندي ما احملكم فاوتي النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم بنبي من فسال عنا فقال اين النفر الاشعريون فامر له بخمس ذوق مر الذرى ثم انطلقنا كلنا ما صنعنا حلف رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا يحملنا وما عنده ما يحملنا ثم حملنا طرفا لا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يمينه والله لا نفلح والله لا نفلح ابدا فرجعنا اليه فقلنا له فقال لست انا احملكم ولكن الله احملكم مني والله لا اعرف على يمين فرائرها خير منها الا اتيت الا اتيت الذي هو خير منه وتحللتها. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وبه قال حدثنا عمرو بن علي قال حدثنا ابو عاصم قال حدثنا حرة بن خالد قال حدثنا ابو جمرة الدباعي قال قلت لابن عباس رضي الله عنهما فقال قدم وقت عبد القيس على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فقالوا ان بيننا وبينك المشركين من مضر وانا لا نصل اليك الا في اشهر حرم فمرنا بجمل من الامر ان عملنا به دخلنا الجنه وندعو اليها من وراءنا قال امركم باربع وانهاكم من اربع امركم بالايمان بالله وهل تدرون ما الايمان بالله شهادة أن لا إله إلا الله وإقام الصلاة وإيتاء الزكاة وتعطوا من المغنم الخمس وأنهاكم من أربع لا تشربوا في الدباء والنقيل والذروح المزبدة والحندمة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فبه قال حدثنا كتيبة بن سبيل قال حدثنا ليس عن نافع عن القاسم بن محمد عن عائشة رضي الله عنها أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال: إن أصحاب هذه السور يعذبون يوم القيامة ليقال لهم أحيوا ما خلقتم. زرعة أنه سمع رسول سمع أبا هريرة رضي الله عنه قال: سمعت سمعت النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول: قال الله تعالى: أو له من باب يخلق من خلقه فليخلق ذرة أو ليخلق حبة أو شريرة. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وبه قال حدثنا علي قال حدثنا هشام قال اخبرنا بعضهم عن الزهري حا وحدثني احمد بن صالح قال حدثنا عنبسه قال حدثنا يونس عن ابن شهاد قال اخبرني يحيى بن عروه بن زبيري انه سمع عروه بن زبيري قال عائشه رضي الله تعالى عنها وعن مسائل الناس النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم عن الدهان فقال انه ليس بشيء فقال يا رسول الله فانه يحدثون بشيء يقول حقا فقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم تلك الكلمه من الحق يخطفها الجني فيطرقها في اذن وليه فقد قرت الدجاجه فيخلفون فيه اكثر من 100 كذبه وبه قال حدثنا ابن الرحمن قال حدثنا مهدي بن ميمون قال سمعت محمد بن سيرين يحدث عن معبد بن سيرين عن ابي سعيد الخدري رضي الله تعالى عنه وعنه عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال يخرج الناس من قبل المشرق ويقرؤون القران لا يتجاوز تراقيهم يمرقون من الدين كما يمرق السهم من الرميه ثم لا يعودون فيه حتى يعود السهم الى فوقه الى ما سيماه قال سيماه من تحريك وقال تسبيده. الحمد لله تسلمت التدريس الفزن البانك يوم الله سبحانه وتعالى that he has assembled us here today on this most auspicious occasion. An occasion that marks the culmination of the studies of our beloved students here who have been studying in this institution for many, many years, some for seven, some for eight, some for ten years. Today, inshallah, marks the graduation, the culmination of the studies of the graduation. And together with that, also the completion of the Bukhari Sharif. There's so much to say in so little time, we don't know where to start. However, firstly, we express our gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this great occasion. It's only through the Fazl and Karam and Bounty of Allah that these things can be attained and achieved. And we are here only with the tawfiq and guidance from the side of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Among the greatest of names that Allah has bestowed mankind with is Iman and Islam and tawfiq and Hidayah. These are the greatest of names that can be bestowed upon us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, only through the infinite grace and prayer 
as granted as his manners. Then further to be present in this auspicious occasion is a very, very great man of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has tailored us with a deen that will remain to the day of judgment. And that is why Allah Ta'ala has made divine promises to say by the Quran and the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Where Allah Ta'ala says, Inna nahmu nazalna dhik wa inna lahu hafizu. We have sent down the Quran and we will protect it and we will safeguard it. And in the protection of the Quran is the protection of the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Abdullah ibn Mubarak also mentioned this, that in this verse is the protection of the Quran and protection of the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So for the Quran is an nazbu wal ma'na. Not only the words, but also the meanings. And the meanings are given to us by who? وَأَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ الذِّكْرَ الْزُبَيْنَ لِلنَّاسِ مَا نُزِّلَ إِلَيْهِمُ الْعَلَّمُ الْفَرَقَّرُونَ Allah Ta'ala says, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we have sent to you the Holy Quran. It will make you the Nasi Ma Nusir Ilayn. So that you may elucidate, you may explain, you may elaborate what the meanings are of the Holy Quran. So that the people can reflect. So the meaning of the Holy Quran will come from the Hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has taken it upon himself to say that the Quran and the Hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the first people that did this were the companions of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They had sat at the feet of Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when Wahi was coming down and received it from Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and understood it and practiced it and propagated it to the people after them. That is why the greatest Muhsineen of this Ummah is the companions of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they are the stars of guidance. Anybody who talks against them or picks them out then is far away. From which part? From that part that Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has defined that ma ana alayhi wa ashabi. That is the part defined by who? Defined by Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That if you want the part of guidance, it is my part and the part of the companions of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So they were the first recipients. Don't go into their lives. We just speak to think about the Hurira Ali al who had made great sacrifices. He had accepted Islam towards the end. And just in three or four years, the companion of the companionship of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and he comes with the treasure of Hadith. 5,374. One Sahabi of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who had no other concern but to sit at the feet of Muhammad Rasulullah and to gather the hadith, learn the hadith, sacrifice the hadith, to learn, to play all his sacrifices in Mishkan, how he to form friendship between the people of Rasulullah and between his house because of hunger and dedicated his entire life just for the hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Thereafter Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala had chosen the Muhaddisin, the Muhaddisin from amongst them was Imam Bukhari Rahmatullahi. Many, many muhaddis say, right to this day, but Allah Ta'ala has singled out and chosen Imam Bukhari Rahmatullahi. Imam Bukhari Rahmatullahi's lifestyle means more than an hour here. I wonder who was he, where he hailed from, he hailed from Bukhara. And look at the Qudrat of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, a non-Arab, a non-Arab. If you read the whole Shilsala Nasr, you come to Masjid, Bardizba, Bazizba, these were fire worshippers. They were not even many. But look at the Qudrat of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, Another lesson for us is, you may be in any corner of the world, if you make sincere effort, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept your effort. And in crown it with success, no matter where you are, you can be in Africa, you can be in America, you can be in Bangladesh, if you are sincere in your efforts, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted Imam Bukhari wa And if you look at his lifestyle, he was a blind person. He had lost his sight, but with the barakat of the dua of his mother, Allah Ta'ala gave him sight. Show to us the power of dua, what dua can do. And when Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala wants to take out work from a person, He created the means for that. He created the means. Imam Bukhari Rahmatullah's childhood was not with the games of today, was not with the toys of today, but with the gatherings of people like Imam Dakhili Rahmatullah. He is 11 years old, he's sitting there, and he, what does he do? He says to Imam Dakhili, this reminder that you are mentioning is wrong. This reminder is wrong. Why? Because Abu Subayl and Ali Ibrahim is not such a wife. Yes, it's Subayl with Ali and Ibrahim. He corrects the great Muhammadis when he is 11 years old. Allah Ta'ala has chosen him, given him such a remarkable memory that it mentioned that when the people of Baghdad had called him and tried to test him, and 10 Muhammadis even said that with 10 different hadiths, with 10 wrong sentences and wrong buttons, and he mentioned it. Imam Bukhari said, La Azri, La Azri, this one I don't know, this one I don't know, like your eight sitting and each one started. And when they completed, Imam Bukhari Mahtulari read to them their wrong duas that they had mentioned and read the right duas thereafter. Hafiz Mahatul writes, this amazing part here is 
Imam Bukhari after Ali, and then one gathering after listening to those riwayats once, he memorized it, put it to memory, and repeat it again. One gathering when he walked down to the story, oh Imam Bukhari, you are not writing up here today, you are wasting your time. Imam Bukhari after Ali said, yes, come to our hadith. He mentioned 13,000 hadiths from memory. These are what we have written, this is what I have memorized. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chooses somebody, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chooses him for great work, then he chooses and gives him those means that he requires to obtain and achieve that. So Imam Bukhari Rahmatul Ali was chosen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this great work, that is to compile the first book, first authentic book, first book of authentic ahadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he's the first person, after there were a lot of people, Imam Malik Rahimullah also mentioned, but the consensus of our minds, a sacred kitab, but the Kitabullah is a job to say with Imam Bukhari. It's consensus with that Imam Shafi Allah has said also, Imam Malik Rahmatullah has said that also the Prophet, but here we find that the consensus is the most authentic book on the face of the earth after the Quran, it's a job to say with Imam Bukhari Rahmatullah. And Imam Bukhari Rahmatullah has gone to great lengths to write this Kitab. We sit here, we read it, we take it to go. It took him 16 long years to compile this Kitab. And imagine, 16 years. And in those days, the lessons were not like here. If you are sitting in one classroom, the staff comes, then another staff comes, you have to go to the east, into the west, into different parts of the world. Sometimes going to Kufa, sometimes going to Basra, sometimes going to Egypt, sometimes going to Khorasan, sometimes going to another country. Like that, he had traversed the earth and visited 1,080, 12,080 Ustads. How many? 1,080 Ustads he had visited and compiled his Hadiths. From a collection of 600,000 Hadiths. He had compiled this hadith with the Mukarrarat is 9,060 some more hadiths he had compiled. And for every hadith, Imam Bukhari Rahmatul Ali had made the Qusar. And he had made two rakat salah. He had made one Qutlah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And he was convinced about the authenticity of the hadith he had placed it in this kitab. Now if you just look at the amount of hadiths and the amount of salah, 18,000 rakats of salah. If you look at the time he had taken apart, 9,000 times he had taken apart just to compile this kitab. And he had made one to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And Allah SWT has given this kitab to expect an acceptance that we are sitting about 13th century, 12th to 13th century in the way from the day it was written. And this is fresh and ever. And no person can regard himself as an alim can have not read the Jami Sahih, Imam Bukhari Rahmatul Ali. And this is the acceptance of Imam Bukhari Rahmatul Ali in the court of Allah SWT. And this is the proof of his ikhlas. Person who works with ikhlas, and Allah SWT makes the work enduring and lasting like the work of our government. You are going to send out a guy, get the one of the earth to go, but once somebody in some way is linked to the account of your money, linked to one of the earth to go, 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 linked to and acceptance. Another thing that is very significant, we find today when hadiths are presented to somebody, they say, is this in Bukhari? Not in Bukhari, but not acceptance. Bukhari says back to the Lalit, ma jama'atu fiya illa ma sa'ha, wa ma tarakto aksar. Imam Bukhari says, wa ma tarakto aksar. So if the Jawadah says, the hadith Bukhari may have, if Bukhari not in Bukhari, we don't accept. Hadith says, wa ma tarakto, what I have learned out from this kitab, aksar. Aksar is not in kitab. That all those hadiths that were sahih, all the hadiths that are 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 sahih, Anyway, Imam Bukhari Rahmatullah Ali starts his kitab here differently from all the other Muslim things. He starts his kitab, gave a kind of the Wahi ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. How the Wahi had started upon the Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Other Muslim things, some of them started with Tahara, some of them started with, with uh, Islam, some of them started with Allah to Salaam, he started with this one. To indicate to our trust that this being is based upon Wahi and divine revelation that comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is absolute. There is no flaws, there is no fault, there is no shortcoming, and there is no limitation comes to Allah SWT. Our entire being is based on Wahi. When Wahi is established, then this entire kitab is established. Why? 
repeat, you can see some words coming to the Quran over and over again, then it goes to the root of the word. And it says, Ustaz or Ustaz is coming to the Quran. What is the Ustaz and Ustadim? Show to us that this word Ustaz is Ustaz, is so Roman language in the meaning of justice. Now here is another debate, there's no kind of debate here, very good time, that is there any, any words in the Quran that are not Arabic? Some say yes, they are. Like Imam Suyuk, Rahim Allah, and some say no, they aren't. Some say no, it is not in Arabic, it could be in the name of Quran, Arabia, only Arabic words in Quran. Some say no, they are not Arabic words also, that here he says that al Mustasso is being justice in the Roman language. Some say no, that is Mu'arra, Mu'arra means to originally in the non-Arabic language, then it turned into Arabic language. There are many words that are given in Urdu, they are actually English words that are used in Urdu. Some say the word of the word, the word of the word means they are used in both languages. They use them both languages, they use in, the, in the Roman language also and the Arabian language. We have called the list of the Muslim books in Arabic. Here we have another debate. Is actually the Muslim books in Arabic? 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 Is actually the Muslim books of this so, of Mawadim of this, we call him Yurad Abe Al, Yurad Abe Al Muqsi, Al Muqsi, what it means, kiss the yun in the meaning of Muqsi. Instead, whatever it is, the written word is time short, go over Ali. Muhammad Qasit or Muhammad Dayu, as far as Qasit is concerned, this is the Quran Mujarrat. Sometimes we make differences between Qasit and Qasit. Qasit and Mujarrat is come in the meaning of, of oppression. Muhammad Qasit, Muhammad Qasit, Muhammad Qasit, Muhammad Qasit, Muhammad Qasit, the Imam Bukhari Muqtabah tells us the difference that this that has come on top here in the matter of Muqsin will come to the meaning of justice and here the kiss that has come from the word that the Qasit has come from the word kiss is the meaning of jail, the meaning of pressure. Understand? Some say it's from Qasdah. These are from Qasdah, some say they are different from Qasdah. They have different meanings. Qasdah means one word that has two opposite meanings. Then Imam Bukhari Muqtabah mentions the Hadith of the Salat وَبِهِ مَالَ حَيْدَ سَلَامِ وَبِهِ مَالَ حَيْدَ سَلَامِ وَبِهِ مَالَ حَيْدَ سَلَامِ He mentioned the Salaf and asked Lasi Ibn Abu Huraira. Some say Ibn Abu Huraira, why? To show to the student that if you want to become a student in the true sense of the word, then follow the life of Abu Huraira. Abu Huraira, Abu Huraira, Abu Huraira, Abu Huraira, Abu Huraira. And he said, Kali Matani, Habib Matani, Abu Huraira. This Hadith Ibn is so unique and so beautiful. We should all make an intention, not only to listen to the Hadith and read it, but from this day, inshallah, every day, we will read this word that is so beloved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Imam Muqallim chooses them and gives it to us last year in this kitab so that we do not forget what he says in Surah Salaam. Then, Kalima Dhan. Kalima Dhan, Mimana Kalima. Kalima actually means one word. We have Kalima Mimana Kalam. And there was two statements, two verbal utterances. What about those two verbal utterances? Suspense. Suspense. What about them? Habib Muqallim Ila Rahman. We are beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we come to know something is beloved to my wife, to my friend, what do we do? We adopt it. We make sure we have it in our life. This is Allah Ta'ala Sarda, Surah Allah Sarda, Habib Ta'ala Ya Rahman. They are beloved to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So we should be, our heart must be open now. We should try and take this and implement it in our life because Allah Ta'ala likes it. Some say Habib Ta'ala Ya Rahman, Abu Mahmoud Ta'ala. Some say Habib Ta'ala Ta'ala Ta'ala. Habib Ta'ala Ta'ala. That person will say it. We become beloved to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Whatever it may be. If you want to become beloved for Allah, you defeat the word. If you want to follow the words that are beloved for Allah, you say the word. So already, there is already the motivation, motivation in our hearts to carry it out. Habib Uthani Allah Rahman. Now if you look at the Zat of Allah SWT, there are many Usaf of Allah SWT that are mentioned. Sit of Rahman is mentioned here. That Allah SWT through His mercy and grace and love and affection for us has made this exercise very, very simple and very, very beneficial for us. Why is it called Sit of Rahman? Sit of Rahman. That's the way he said, Rahman extends in the dunya, Rahman in dunya and akhirah, dunya and the akhirah. And what does it say after the Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saying, you may think that it may be very difficult, but not for Allah the Great, Allah's majesty, only Allah Ta'ala knows His majesty. How difficult it must be? No. Tawheed wa ta'ala ala al-Nisar. Very, very simple to talk to the tongues. These words that Allah loves so much, very simple with the tongues, very light with the tongues. Why? Because of the mercy of Allah Ta'ala. Then it is so simple, possible, that's so valuable. 
ठीक तरह सब कुछ उसी विवेक दृष्टा शांति में कुछ नहीं मिलेगा मैं बल्कि तराक पर गंगा सुबह बता सकी रजा ने भी उम्मीद कर या है भी उम्मीद से दिस इज़ द डेज़ और दिस इज़ द बारह तारीख इमाम बारह तारीख को लाये शोज़ को आज शोज़ इन द मौका दिला तो एक्शन विवेक और दे अक्सर सकी रजा ने भी उम्मीद कर दे वो भी है भी उम्मीद से व so some people that are one person have his name mentioned throughout his life. We saw it in Subhanallah of Ghandi, Subhanallah of Ghandi. Why? Sakir Adhan is with us. We all want the visa to be held. So at least a hundred times a day, we read Subhanallah of Ghandi, Subhanallah of Ghandi. These are the best kind of ones that like that Allah. Why? Subhanallah. Why Subhanallah? Allah of Ghandi, Rahmatullah, 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 Rahmatullah.
teach and learn whatever you want to. The greatest thing is to move it and in the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the khidmat of you. To make work of Allah ta'ala makes a new class of all of us for the khidmat of the deen. In whatever capacity we are, Allah ta'ala accept us, inshallah. And always remember, you can become whatever you become, but this is the last thing your time is up. Whatever you can become, but your sons are the ones, first your parents are the ones who take you to work in this part, send you to the Pilaris. And never be ungrateful to your parents, first. Secondly, your sons are here. They are the ones that nurture you, spread you, look after you, worry about you, concern about you, they check it right to you. But don't ever forget them. Turn to them for mushra, turn to them for guidance. You are maybe qualified now, but you are highly unexperienced. As far as the big up outside is concerned. Who has had the more experience in all of us? Well, he has a white beard that has been done for so many years. To turn a paratrip of Mount Kabi, turn towards your Kabi, turn towards your Sansa. Mount Kufari Mount finish this guitar. What did he do? A masterpiece. What did he do? He went back to his Ustad. Mount Ahmed and Ahmed Rahim Tullah, Yahya and Ma'in Tullah, Ali and Madini Rahmullah, presented the guitar to the Sansa like Iran after writing such a fantastic masterpiece. Then he discussed the guitar with the four, like a four four, he said, then he discussed there, and then after that, who was the guitar? So he first went to his Asadza. Even after 16 years of penance, he went to the Asadza and had the guitar. A good way to So we should not forget our teachers. Remember that. Why I changed that why? Because we look in that day in a battle of freedom. Do what you want to know. Our need is to give up. Follow it now in the Sus and Asadza, follow it now in the Sus and Asadza, follow it now in the Sus and Asadza, follow it now in the Sus Accept the students, accept the Teresa, accept everyone that is here, especially accept the Sansa that came out, who despite their doctors, their own agents, they are sitting here teaching you, and let them accept one and all, and make this occasion, the joyous occasion for us, and a meeting for my life in this world, and we are
I congratulate their families also and their parents who are here. May Allah Ta'ala reward you for putting your child in the path of Allah Ta'ala and making him an honor. I would also like to thank, and usually this is not said, our president, Barakatullah Saab, who, mashallah, all he is working so hard in basically every section of the Madrasa. We'd like to thank him and the hard work of his family for his assistance and his great leadership in this Madrasa. Also, Mawlana Yameen Hussain, who will be talking right after me, inshallah, he is our, our principal. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him and his family also for their great efforts and sacrifices and being our leader and leading this great dog alone in regards to his education. Also, I would like to thank all the Asadis, all the teachers of all the different departments, whether it be the Nazar, the Hanks, the Holland course, also the Banat section, the girls who graduated, mashallah, we had nine girls graduate yesterday, we had the Jalsa in the same building. It was an incredible, mashallah, program. May Allah Ta'ala reward them. And may Allah Ta'ala accept all the efforts from all the Asadis and the staff. And all, of course, you who are helping us, who does it mean? those who are providing us with uh, monetary assistance and with laws and those parents who are sending their children. We thank all of you from the bottom of our heart and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept all of your endeavors. I mean, my dear respected brothers, if we could just pay a little bit of attention and shall we have a few more minutes of talks and then we'll have a trophy given to the students. After that we'll have our Zohar prayer inshallah. They say in English, that every person enters into a crossroad of their life. Meaning they get to a certain point of their life where when they go forward and they make a decision, it will be now determining and it will affect the rest of their life. Many of these students have gone through this here today and actually the dog group is going through this right now. As you know, for many, many years, it is nothing of a mystery and it is nothing unclear that Alhamdulillah the Dalai Lama is providing Islamic education in the form of Quran, Ta'lim al Quran and also in the form of Ilm and we are doing it in a very high level with teaching a lot of students with multiple amount of students as right now we have 500 students studying in the Dalai Lama Alhamdulillah, due to the great efforts of the Asatiza and the Madrasa and the great efforts of the students as well, it has never been a challenge for us to teach these students and to have many, many students in our Madrasa learning the Quran and the end of, of, of the Quran and the Deen. But one thing that has always been a challenge for us is providing the place and providing the shelter for the students. We know that for many years we were right across the street at 150th and we made a lot of suffering of patients there, alhamdulillah, Allah wa ta'ala bless Bukhari Sahabi is here also with his family as well for the great, great efforts that they made with us and the great patients they had. But at the end of the day, it is an apartment building, a place where, of course, a school, it's very difficult to run that in there. Then of course, alhamdulillah, we have our building, which the Alam course right now is running in, and that's at 87-80 right over here behind the TV bin. Alam course is still running there. It's a good building, alhamdulillah, and mashallah, a lot of work has been taken in that place. But at the same time, we want something more accommodating for our students. My dear brothers, the building that we are sitting in right now, this building, for many years, the jail itself, we had to rent tents, they were quite expensive and we had to do it outside with the fear that maybe the weather might be bad. We had a tent and the weather was like today, it would have been a disaster. But now what happens up, this building which we have been in for the last four or five years, Alhamdulillah in this building, this is not the only floor. On the basement also there's a large basement which is even bigger than this. On the second floor, the hips is taking place. And on the third floor of the rat section, which 180 girls of Hamdullah are spending there every day. This building, my dear brothers and sisters, it is a great need, and this is the crossroads of our Darul. Darul has never had an opportunity like this, where we have such a large building where we can accommodate for all, 
not just one, and not just two, for all of our sections, the hips, the nazira, the alim, alima, and also even our academics, and we still have plenty of room to go around. This building, my dear brothers, as you have seen on the Facebook accounts and by word of mouth, that Alhamdulillah, we've signed a contract where the Malik and the owner of this building is ready to sell it to us for $15 million. Now, $15 million may sound like a great amount of money, and it is. But believe me, for a prime piece of land right here on Hillside Avenue, a land which is a Section 7, which we can still build up seven floors, a land which we can also in the parking lot build more as well, and smack that in the middle of Hillside, which in New York, we need to be very close to transportation. $15 million is nothing. Actually, it's been underpriced. We have been trying to make a system, and Alhamdulillah, already progress has been there, where about $600,000 has been collected already. Without us going around, without any big talks or no big programs, without any major master plan so far, close to $600,000, Alhamdulillah, has already been collected. And this is without starting any major programs. We're going to be starting some major programs, fundraising programs for this, a big plan, inshallah, on how we can purchase this building, and this building can be a source not only for our students, but already the local people are praying here, and it can serve also as a, so to say, Islamic center for the communities. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> فإن شكرت لا زيدنكم وليس كفرت من عذابي الشديد وقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من لم يشكر الناس لم يشكر الله وكما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام I know brother and sisters you are comfortable in English language but I want to say some words by Urdu language. I will be comfortable by Urdu. Jazakallah khair. Alhamdulillah, many jo ayat aur hadis talawat aur padhi iska tarjuma yehi hai ke ni'amat ka shukur ada karo ni'amat bad jaye. نبی علیہ السلام نے فرمایا کہ جو لوگ کا شکر ادا نہیں کرتے وہ اللہ کا بھی شکر ادا نہیں کرتے تو سب سے پہلے میں اس مدرسے کا اس سر زمین امریکہ میں اس مدرسے کے لیے جنہوں نے جگا دی وہ اللہ کا پیارا ہو گیا جو آج سے اکیس سال پہلے کرونا میں جو مسجد الفلاح کے پریسیڈنٹ تھے بھائی زافر صاحب حاصل کا والد صاحب انہوں نے اپنے گیرد میں چھوٹی سی جگہ دی اس مدرسے کو چلانے کے لیے ہمارے مدرم بھائی برکت اللہ صاحب دامت برکات ہو ان کی اہلیہ کے ساتھ اسی گیرج پہ رہتے تھے اور وہاں سے یہ کام شروع ہوا نیٹین نیٹی سیون فیٹی جسل اب وہاں سے یہ دارالعوم کا کام آغاز ہوا الحمدللہ اس سال اکیس ہوا سال ہے this year is twenty one years ایک آف کا مرلوم الحمدللہ وہاں سے جو آغاز ہوا چھے بچے تھے اور ایک استاد جو حافظ جمیل حافظ بسم اللہ صاحب الحمدللہ علی کے چھوٹے بھائی تھے انہوں نے تعلیم شروع کی اس کے بعد ایز استاد ہمارے محترم حافظ ابو الخیر صاحب آئے حفظ کانا شروع ہوا ٹو تھاؤزن تک یہی ناظرہ اور حفظ کانا چلتے رہا اب اس کے بعد
ہمارے محترم استاد حضرت مولانا سہیل صاحب دعوت برکات ان سے ہم نے یہ عالم کورس شروع کرایا تھا ان کی سر پرستی میں محترم مفتی روح العمید صاحب ایز اے ناظم تعلیمات اس وقت ہوتے تھے یہ عالم کورس شروع ہوا اب الحمدللہ مختصر تاریخ جو حضرت مولانا مکائل صاحب ناظم تعلیمات انہوں نے آپ حضرت کو مختصر تاریخ سنائی اب میں ان تمام حضرات کا شکر ادا کرنا چاہتا ہوں جنہوں نے اس کال خیر میں حصہ لیا جو میں نے پہلے ذکر فرما ذکر کیا کہ ظافر صاحب جگہ لی ابھی ہمارے تین بلڈنگ ہیں ابھی ہماری جگہ جو ایک یہ قلت ہے اور کمی ہے کہ دو سو بچے ابھی ویٹنگ لیسٹ میں ہیں جن کو ہم داخلہ نہیں دے سکتے اب ہم داخلہ بن کر دیں یہ جو بلڈنگ ہے یہ بلڈنگ کرایا پر ہے ستر ہزار ڈالر مہانہ کرایا ہے ہم ابھی مشورہ کر رہے ہیں کیا یہ ہم قابل ہیں کہ ہر مہینے ستر ہزار ہم ادا کر پائیں گے یا اس بلڈنگ ہم خرید کر سکتے ہیں یا نہیں پندرہ ملین ڈالر آسکنگ پرائس صاحب مکان اسے جوئش یہ چند دین پہلے بھی پاس ہوئے جو مان کے مکان ہیں وہ ان کا انتقال ہو گیا ابھی بچوں نے کرایا پڑھا گیا جو چالیس ہزار تھا ابھی وہ ہو گیا ستر ہزار ابھی آپ حضرت سے میری ایک معدبانہ خزارش ہے کہ اگر آپ اپنی طرف سے یا اپنے دوستوں کی طرف سے یہ جگہ خریدنے کی ہیلپ کر سکتے ہیں تو بڑھ چڑھ کے ہیلپ کریں تا قیامت یہ سچے جاریہ میرے اور آپ کے لئے قائم رہے گا انشاءاللہ دوسری بات یہ ہے کہ ہمارے محترم بھائی شہید الاسلام صاحب دامت برکات ہوں ان کا بھی شکر ادا کرتا ہوں جنہوں نے ہمیں اس ملک میں آنے کا موقع دیا اس کے بعد ان کے چھوڑا بھائی برکت اللہ صاحب کا شکر ادا کرتا ہوں جنہوں نے یہ کام شروع کر کے اب تک لے کر لے کر چل رہے ہیں اور میں شکریہ ادا کرتا ہوں ان اسادزہ کے جو عالم کورس میں تعلیم دینے میں رات و دن منصرف ہے منصرف ہے اور مصروف ہے مشہور ہے اور ناظرہ میں جتنی اسادزہ ہیں ان سب کا شکر ادا کرتا ہوں اور یہ جو جگہ ہے نیٹی نائن میں ہم یہاں منتقل ہوئے تھے کرونا سے اور سب سے پہلے ہماری یہ جگہ دینے میں پیش پیش ہماری وہ پیچھے بیٹے ہیں ان کو میں ہمیشہ مزام پہ کہتا ہوں یہ ہمارے لئے بابا قوم یہ غازی بخاری صاحب کرم اللہ بخاری صاحب انہوں نے ہمیں جگہ دی ایک دی آئی ہوم لین سیکرونی بیلڈنگ ڈپرمنٹ فائر ڈپرمنٹ چائل ایر ایجوکیشن ڈپرمنٹ سب لوگ ان کے پیچھے پوچھ رہے تھے کہ بھئی یہاں کیا ہو رہا ہے اور یہی ایک وہی بندہ اللہ ان کو صحت کے ساتھ حیات دراز کرے ان کی بیوی کو بھی اللہ صحت کے ساتھ حیات دراز کرے دعا کرتا ہوں نائن ایلیون سے بعد نائن ایلیون کے بعد انہوں نے بلکہ اس سے پہلے سے یہ اپنی بلڈنگ میں جگہ دے کر دو سو حافظ اسی بلڈنگ سے بہتر تیار ہو کے پورے امریکہ میں خدمت کر رہے ہیں اللہ رب العالمین سے میں شکر ادا کرتا ہوں ان حضرات کے جنہوں نے ہمیں مشورہ دیتے رہے ان میں سے پیش پیش قدم حضرت مولانا مفتی رفی عثمانی صاحب دامت پر قادر ہوں مفتی آزم پاکستان جو آج تک ہمیں مشورہ دیتے ہیں اور ان میں سے حضرت مولانا حارون عباس صاحب دامت پر قادر ہوں جو آج جو آج ہمارے بچوں کا ختم بخاری ختم کرایا انہوں نے ہمیں مشورہ دیا یہ ہمارے مشیر ہے اور آگے چل کر میں حضرت مولانا شہر مدنی صاحب دامت پر قادر ہوں کا بھی شکر ادا کرتا ہوں ہمیشہ ہمیں مشورہ دیتے رہتے ہیں آگے چل کر حضرت مولانا رفیق احمد صاحب جو ہر سال چھے مہنے یہاں شہر الحدیث کے منصب میں درس بخاری کے تعلیم دیتے ہیں 
इसी तरह हम हर हर उस्ताद और हर हर कार और हर हर खाबिर जो मुंसलिक है इस दार के साथ हर मुदाओं के लिए बल्कि मैं और ज्यादा आगे बढ़कर उन हजरात का हजरात का भी शुक्र अदा करता हूँ
After Stavri Dunia's Dada, his grandfather, he very much wished to see this gathering, but he passed away just yesterday. SubhanAllah. His parents are here, so we may go on with our friends that uh, his Dada, his grandfather, Dada the Kandos, and we're here to his sin, inshallah. And elevate the status, inshallah. He studied Tawfiq Mia, studied under Mu'an Nasir al and he is the son of Tawfiq Mia. Hafiz Abdullah Islam. Hafiz Abdullah Islam is next. He is a student of Moran Asuruddin Sab and he is the son of Mir Islam. Next is Hafiz Najmuddin. Hafiz Najmuddin, he is the son of late Moran Abdullah Sab, Rahmatullah Ali, who is one of the Asakis of the Arab He passed away two years ago. His father also very much wished to see him become a Hafiz. May Allah grant his father the highest of Jannah and elevated status. I mean, he is a student of Morna Sayyidul Islam sir. And last is Hafiz Mushim Khan, who is a student of Morna Bilal Hussain and the son of Halim Ahmad sir. These were our graduates. May Allah Lord accept them. May Allah Lord elevate their status and take the command and service from them, inshallah. Everyone say Ameen. Father, 
daughter of Zainal Khan Saab, Amira, the daughter of Baba, Mahit Mia Saab, and Fatima, the daughter of Muhammad Islam Saab. Sheikh Rafir Muntabim from the third year from Jamaica, New York. Mahdi Chaudhry from the third year from Queens, New York. And Yusuf Malik from the first year from New Orleans, Louisiana. Next, we have those students who have presented the entire Quran in the narration of Hafs. We have Asif, Asif Alameen from the fifth year from Brooklyn, New York. Hafiz Bashir Rahman Duha from the fifth year from Brooklyn, New York. Hafiz Ibn Muaz Hussein from the fourth year from Orlando, Florida. Hafiz Bayes Ahmed from the fourth year from Flushing, New York. And Hafiz Hamdan Islam from the fourth year from Jamaica, New York. On this place, on this one that they finished by one of Zayed Sir, who is also amongst us, one of our previous teachers. Next, we have those students who finished the Quran in the narration of Warsh, one of the Qiraqat. On this place, Ahmed, from the fourth year, from Flushing, New York. And Hafiz Mandan Islam, from the fourth year, from Jamaica, New York. They both studied under Ali Ridwan Sabu, one of our new Asadiyah. May Allah not accept these students. Next, we have those students who have completed the Sabah Qiraqat, the seven, seven different Qiraqat, and obtained their Sabah from Mufti Abdul Muqtadir Sabah, the Ramu Qarqat of Mutinek, New Jersey. First, we have Hassan Razab from the sixth year, from Mishnah class, from Hamilton, New Jersey. Then we have Hafiz Asif Alameen from the sixth year from Brooklyn, New York. The next student, he is not here with us because his father passed away about a month ago, Hafiz Tazim Khan. May Allah forgive his father and accept him. Ameen. Hafiz Tazim Khan was from Brooklyn, uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut. The next student is Mazhar al Islam from the sixth year. ITV, Call of Peace, Save Humanity.